March 16th, the artichokes don't look that great, but they're not dead. And that is that volunteer peach tree. It's taken over the world. That's okay, more to mulch. Grind it up. And this is the lima beans. What's funny is the peach tree's in the ground and the lima beans in a box. And there's lima beans everywhere. They survived the hailstorm. These are just the blossoms that you can see. But here's the lima beans. They're just everywhere. Out of four different kinds of corn, that's all that came up. Here's the tomatoes. My St. Patrick's Day tomatoes. Red beef steak. Mr. Stripey? Yeah, Mr. Stripey. There was a big cluster of blossoms in there and they all fell off. The fig tree. With lots and lots of figs. Again. And these will be the first ones to be picked. And there's some on the other side. The reason why I don't have more than that is I end trimmed almost all of the branches and this way they put all of its energy into making more branches which means more figs than just because this one I didn't trim you can see the difference it has two on the old stem and three came out from where I hadn't cut it but this is where I cut it and cut it potato isn't looking so great. don't know what I did wrong. Maybe it's because it has no sun. Avocado tree definitely needs to come down. There is not one avocado anywhere on that thing. It's growing nicer, but if you're not going to give me any fruit after all those flowers, you're coming down. And then we have our desert gold peach. It's been dropping nice, tasty, little, tiny peaches. But there's getting to be some good-sized ones. And there's the onions that I cut the top off and dry. There's that volunteer peach. It does have peaches on it. They're just that they come in much later. Hopefully they'll get to be a decent size. And this one's usually loaded. But for some reason, it's not this year. And everything else went crazy. Ah. Oh. I would say we have, I would say we have some slugs up there. Gonna have to put out sluggo. But here's some of the beets that I transplanted. They're coming along. And that's the chamomile. It's very poor. But here are the beets that I originally started. It got a little wet. It rained a little over here. It needs to be watered. I can't see. Now the beets are very small. But this one's going to seed. See, they're very small. That's where something else came in. and That's called chop and drop. called chop and drop or chop and feed the chickens but that's where something came in and dug them up and rearranged them for me I don't know what's wrong with that half of the lima beans but that half is doing beautifully and that's only from five seeds oh here they come here they come where's ginger where's ginger Fancy, fancy pants. Drew some artichokes. Trying to keep critters out. 
Not one piece of fruit on any of those volunteer fruit trees. Not one out of all that blooming. And we didn't have a storm afterwards to knock all the blossoms off. And here we have yard-long beans. Something got in and rearranged them again. There's Malabar spinach over there and Wandering Jew, so I've got to get down. I'm pretty sure the Malabar spinach has red stems. I determine which one's which, because they both look alike to me. Oh, and here's the Volunteer Cherry Tomatoes. Uh, say seven feet tall now. Over there is where I planted zucchini. Apparently they're climbing zucchini. Hydrangeas trying to bloom. And Chayote. Let the kawabi go to seed. Joe gave me seeds for red and yellow butterfly weed. And it's got the same icky disease. I'm going to have to go look it up and see if it can be treated. But I think I see buds on it. And I planted okra and alliums and shasta daisies behind the non-blooming irises. I had one flower last year and nothing this year. Oh, there's a peach down. Chickens can't get to it. Ha ha ha. And the sky. Look at the beautiful clouds in the sky. I don't know about anybody else, but in California we have May Gray, June Gloom, and July Fry. Oh, you can actually see them moving. There's the fig tree, getting taller than I can reach. There's a tangelo, pink lemonade, it actually has lemons, If you ever want your mulch spreaded, invite the chickens over. They can move that stuff faster than you can say boo. In fact, that was one little pile when I was turning the camera on. And the thing is, the smart chickens are the ones that stand behind the one that does all the kicking. Because they get all the good stuff that's kicked out. Here comes everybody. It's a party.